Stay right there in your easy chair For 30 minutes of pleasure Don't you go, it's more than the show It's the talk of the desert It's the talk of the desert with Belinda Reed I just love coming home at night I turn around, she's a treasure Everyone and everywhere I go the talk of the desert. Now, here's Melinda. Talk of the Desert is on location for the 28th annual Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf Invitational at Fantasy Springs Casino. This is the 28th annual year. It's unbelievable. We've got terrific guests. We've got lots of celebrities. We have a lot of golf. And uh, it's just wonderful that everybody can join us. And it's like old home week. Everybody here is so warm, so friendly, and I always encourage people to come out and come to the golf course and just stand there and watch the golfers golf, and they'll shake hands and they'll sign autographs, bring the record albums, pieces of paper, photographs. They will take care of you. It's just, it's just really wonderful. And thank you for joining me. Joining me on Talk of the Desert here at the Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf Invitational is actor Ron Mazak. And Ron, you are everybody's sheriff, aren't you? Uh, the world sheriff, yes. <laughs> you are, are That's me. You? Yes, yes. That's where they are uh, going down the street. They say, hey, sheriff. And I get scared because I think they're calling him about me. Okay, so if you have somebody pulling you over because you're speeding, do you say, hey, I'm the sheriff? No, I don't speed. <laughs> you know why? But why? I believe in law and order. Well, and I know that those guys go out there every day. They lay their life on the line. Sure do. I don't want to give them any problems. That's right. Exactly. Good for you, Ron. Oh, yeah. But what a career you have had. I mean, movies, television. But is it every actor want to be known for one certain role? And that's basically Murder, She Wrote. Yeah, because it's still they're still running it every day. And do you get residual? No, no. She got she, she got all the money. Oh, Angela she, did. Oh, Angela got all the money. <laughs> yeah, but look at you get to sign autographs and you get to be on top of the desert. <laughs> yes, you know what the, the nice thing about it is it, it's it, it was a joy just to go to work. It's really? one of those things in your career you say I would have really done that for nothing. That's how good she was. You know? Wow. Oh yeah. Now somebody told me that you'll never work in your day a day in your life when you do something you really love doing. It's not work. It's not work. George Burns told me that. I did a commercial with George, and he said, he, he said the same thing. He said, make sure you're doing what you like to do, and get up every day and do it. And I do. I just use the line over there. I said, people drink and do drugs to get to where I'm at. I don't drink <laughs> and I don't do drugs, but I'm a little crazy. I wake up singing. I love it. It, it I upsets love it. everybody in the house. Um, now, do you Frank, sing Frank Sinatra songs? I love Frank Sinatra songs for many reasons. First of all, he had the greatest enunciation in the world. So an actor can learn how to enunciate for certain rules. And the other thing I really loved is Frank sang in my key. <laughs> you know what your key is? Uh, B flat, I think. <laughs> oh. B flat C. Certain songs. Good, good. Yeah. Good for you. But when he, when he's singing, just so you know, I mean, Frank, Frank is on my, my car radio. He's on my car CDs. Yeah. Uh, and I sing with him because I sound better when I sing with him. When I sing alone, I sound like Eldo Ray, you know. <laughs> well, somebody asked Barbara Sinatra, Mrs. Mm -hmm. Frank Sinatra. Uh, do you sing? And she says, I even hum off key. That could be. That yeah. could be. Yeah, okay. Cool. But Frank, Frank, was, Frank was the, he, Frank set the bar, as you sure know. Did. I mean, your, your wonderful husband had those keys and he played those notes. And he sang in the same key that Frank did on some of those charts. Right. But he set the bar. And everybody who came along during that period, in the 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, they wanted to sound like Frank. Yeah. Oh, absolutely, and still do. Yeah. I mean, how many Frank impersonators are there out there right now? Not one rapper. <laughs> Not one rapper. Not one you rapper. It. You got it. You know what's really scary when these rappers find out that Robert Preston did that first in the music band? That's right. Yeah. Pool table, don't you understand? Yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Well, let's talk about it. How many years have you attended or played in the Frank Sinatra Golf? I believe it's 27. Good you know, for you. That I played in 27. And the, the great thing about it, you know, besides all the work that Barbara does for the children, and that's why we're here. I mean, that's the most right. important thing, and that's why Frank wanted to have the party in the desert. But when we come back and we see some of the pictures and we look at some of the people, 
that we've known for those 27 years and those who we miss very much so. I miss Frankie. I miss uh, Wayne Rogers. I miss Andy Williams. I miss those guys because we used to tear it up. You know, we tell jokes and have fun and laugh and sing and, and do. And, uh, and I miss them. That's a reminder. You know, that we're here a short time, we might as well have fun. That's right, exactly. And by the way, you just told me before we started talking is that you've been married 55 years. Yeah, 55 years this year. Congratulations. Thank you. And, and she's going to give me 45 more if I straighten up. Otherwise, she's dumping me. <laughs> oh, she is. Isn't oh, yeah. it? You're going to make that 100th anniversary, huh? Yeah, I would love to. Well, with this lady. I really would love to with this lady, yeah, and I'd love to be working. Oh, fantastic. <laughs> well, speaking of 100, is we're celebrating Frank Sinatra's 100th birthday mm -hmm. last December 12th. That's pretty exciting. I mean, it's 100 years of Frank Sinatra. Well, it's 100 years of Frank Sinatra and the music that will never die. Right. It's the music that will never die. I, watched, I like to watch the Turner Classic movies in the morning. Oh, yes. Higher and Higher was on this morning. Uh, on the Town was on this morning. And people forget that besides being a great singer and a great actor... Gene Kelly taught Frank how to be a great dancer. Isn't that amazing? That he could come, yeah. keep, keep, keep up with people like Gene Kelly. And then he became a great comedian. You know, don't forget, you know, he played Joey Lewis. He was doing stand-up comedy. Right. Uh, so, yeah. I mean, he's had a wonderful, wonderful career, and uh, Adam will live forever, too. That's, that's right, Ron. Now, um, I do have a project you're working on right now? Just finished a movie with Ed Asner. Ooh, fun. Uh, Ed Asner, let me see. Ed Asner, Jamie Farr. God love Jamie. Oh, I love Jamie. Uh, Alan Ratchins. Everybody loves Jamie. Yeah, Alan Ratchins and Marion Ross and myself, and it's called Angels on Tap. Oh. We're a bunch of angels in a saloon. <laughs> and it was written by Bert Perlusky, who used to write a lot of MASH and then, uh, you know, Matlocks and things yeah, like that. Yeah. One of the great television writers. And we, it was just a blast. So I have my wings. You have your wings. Yes. I'm glad to know that. Does the bell tingle and you get your wings? Is that no, what there's, it is? A, there's, a, there's a line in there about that. Oh, there is, is there? Yeah. A lot of, lot of fun stuff. You know, so I'm doing that, um, writing my second book, you know, More about. Heroes. All because of Dina Martin. Oh, yeah, my, my first book was called I've Met All My Heroes from A to Z. And she came up and she said, where's my father? Oh, really? I said, well, I didn't want to put the whole rat pack in there. I, got, I had Frank and Sammy in there. So I'm, I'm doing my Dean Martin one now. Okay. So the book's just about Dean, is that right? No, no, but he's in the M's. <laughs> Good. Okay. Well, fantastic, Ron. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Thank you. And thank you for being here to support the Barbara Sinatra Listen, Children's Center. Any, anytime she needs me, I'm here. You're terrific, Ron. Thank, thank you, you very much. You too. It's always good to Same see thing you. Same thing goes yeah. for you. Anytime you need me, I'm here. Thank you. I appreciate that, Ron. Oh, I like thank kisses. You. I like kisses. Thank you. tell you, Frankie Randall used to say that he knew this woman since she was this tall. And he said, she's still this tall. And that's Dina Martin. Dina, welcome back to Talk of the Desert. Thank you so much. Yeah, Thank like you, This Melinda. is like your 19th appearance on Talk of the Desert, isn't I it? I think so. Well, you know, in. give them what you want and you keep coming back because I adore you. And, and I adore I, you, and Dina. I want to do this show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Well, thank you for coming all the way from Branson, Missouri, via what to get okay, here maryland and uh, let's see chandler arizona i mean we've been all over it. melbourne florida and then back up to uh Virginia. i don't know where i've been <laughs> <laughs> wait but i'm here get, now get your airline tickets out and see huh i know yeah i got a lot of miles well how many ap appearances how many shows do you do a year oh gosh I mean, I know it very You know, I don't year. know how many shows, but we're on the road 280 days out of the year. So it's just a lot, you know, and, but it's so much fun and it's it's worth it. It's just hard work, but and it's so great. All you do is come home, wash, do laundry, and turn around and go back, yeah. right? Yeah. Yeah. And get another cool. gown, put it in. Pack, like that. Let's talk about these shoes that you have, because we're shoe people and gown oh people. My gosh. Oh, my yeah, gosh, yeah. yes. Now, I heard you were building a bigger closet in Branson, Missouri, where your main home is. Melinda, you would love it. Oh. It's 336 square feet. My apartment wow. in New York wasn't that big. <laughs> so it's, it's cool. 
Oh, you'd love it. <laughs> oh, wow. It's, it, mirrors in it. You have lots of drawers. What? Lots of drawers, lots of shelves. It's amazing. It's like a store. I like that. Dana. I know. It's, I like it's great. Dana. Okay, let's talk about your Uncle Frank and your dad dean yes. <laughs> yes oh gosh they were the best yeah absolutely the best yeah so i can't believe that frank sinatra would have been a hundred years old i know selling bring a hundred years of frank sinatra yeah, yeah. next year it's my dad oh, okay 2017 oh so that'd be 100 years of dean yes. martin oh yeah okay so that's cool but it's so wonderful to be here for the frank sinatra invitational and to see barbara and raise money for the children's center uh, it's amazing and you're not playing golf no, I'm not playing golf. My handsome husband, John, is going to play golf. Oh, good. Okay. I'm going Represent to rest you. a little. Good. I think that's a great idea. And I'm going to go to the fashion show. Oh, good. I'll yeah. see you there. Okay. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Right. Yeah. Now, tell me, update besides we're talking about you're traveling all the time. What are, else are you doing in your career? I mean, I know you've got some CDs out. You've written books, you know. Yes, yeah. all of that. And we're working on another album, the fifth album. Congratulations. And, uh, so we're, uh, we're just cementing that. Well, actually, we're going to finish it the end of March. And uh, the book is being made into the movie. Oh, and in fact, Joe Montaigne will be here. Oh, uh, yes. And he's going to he's going to play the um, older Dean. No, okay. he's playing Dean. <laughs> but then we're going to get a younger one also. So it's uh, it's fantastic news. When is production going to start on that? Because I know you've been working on that for a while. Yes, we are. I'm not exactly sure of the okay. date. Bonnie's still writing. Bonnie she's, Hunt. Bonnie Hunt. She's going to direct. Oh, great. She's going to direct it. And then we're working on a documentary for my dad for his 100th. Oh. And we've, uh, let me see, we've interviewed, gosh, uh, Bob Newhart and let's see, Henry Silva. And there's a lot of people. So that's already in the works. Good. And, and it's, um, it's really, and it's fun. Where will the documentary air? When will it? Where? Or where? where? Oh, well, I don't know. Okay. Uh, you mean like uh, HBO or yeah, Netflix yeah, or, or something? Or PBS? One of those. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, Dina. We're on the talk of the desert. That's cut well. Okay. Welcome anytime, Dina. <laughs> Dina Martin. I yeah. love it. In her show, she says, I'm Dean with an A. Yes. She always know how to spell Dina Martin. That's right. Yeah. Named after my dad. Yes. And your sister? And my poor sister's named after my grandfather. Mm -hmm. Her name's Grandpa. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I can even do one of your jokes. Okay. Okay. Um, please. <laughs> Uncle Nunzio <laughs> called you in and said, Dina, I know I'm getting close to the end of my life. When, uh, when I pass, here's the money to buy a big stone for me. And you go, how did I do? It's close. It's close? It's close. You want to come on the road with yeah, me? Yeah, I want to come on the road with you. Okay, so what, how did I Good. blow it? <laughs> it was... Uh, uh, let me see, Uncle Santino. Okay, well, okay. Uncle I Santino. knew it was an Italian name. And yes. he called me in and he said, Dina, in this envelope, there's $25,000 in cash. Mm -hmm. And when I go, I want you to buy a big stone. Then I go, how'd I do? Yeah. So you're close. I'm close, it's yeah. Good. It's good. <laughs> good. Now I can do some other jokes, but <laughs> tell us your dad's favorite joke on stage. His favorite joke? Or, well, his well, or, toast. Well, the toast. His toast? Or, yeah, his toast. His toast. Um, I kissed the Asian gray-eyed cow that gave me milk and cheese. Now I'm lying on my back with hoof and mouth disease. <laughs> I know. I, it. I, I know. It's great. Tell our audience a little something about your dad that, that you think they would, might like to know about him. Oh, gosh. I have a whole book full of them. Yes, I Memories know. Memories are made of this. But uh, let me see. Uh, There's just so much, You know, maybe it? I would like for everyone to know that he was just so nice and funny. He was really funny. He was a good guy. He was cool. He was a hugger. Yes. He smelled well, the great. Well, king, the king of cool. Oh, he smelled great. He what smelled did he smell? great. What did he, he smell like? He wore Wood Hue by Fabergé. And I still have a little bit of oh, the yeah. of it left in oh, the bottle, really? you know, that was in his bathroom. Yeah. And uh, every now and then I'll take off the top, and I'm right back there with him. Oh. Fantastic. Amazing. So. What, a, what a wonderful story. Isn't that great? So what's in the future for you, Dina? More, I know, more airplane rides, more, more airplane, performing. Yes, more, uh, more albums. We have two albums that are going to be coming out. So the f first one, and then the second one will just be, uh, uh, you know, for Dad. Yeah. And all his songs and, yeah. and that. So it's, it's just, it's, it's exciting, and I love doing it. For his 100th birthday? Yes. yes. He was born uh, June 7th, 1917. Oh. So, uh, in 2017, yeah, years. isn't that exactly. something? Yes. And see, he was born in Ohio. Steubenville, Ohio. And so are they going to go all crazy for that in 2017? I think so. Yeah. And we'll I have, mean, uh, they go crazy for it anyway. They do so. it every year. Yeah. 
and uh, this year it's it's going to be a lot of fun you know so it's it's going to be great to remember him and to see and to walk the streets the streets look the same really yes interesting i know i know the steubenville still, still, bakery still dirt know. streets huh? yeah, yeah. I didn't mean that. Of course, Steubenville. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. It's okay. No, sorry. it's 100 years. Yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, Dina, thank you for joining me again, and I love you, and congratulations on your dad's 100th birthday coming up in 2017. How yes. exciting. Yes, Melinda, yeah. thank you so much, and it's wonderful to be here yes. at the Sinatra and to be with you. Thank you. And uh, thank you for having me on your show. Uh, absolutely. Keep Dana. up the good work. Okay. I love you. I love you. Well, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Thanks. actress Elke Summers and her doggy Smiley. Smiley, say hi Smiley. No, no oh. kissy mommy, yes. say hi. Hi, hi Smiley. Uh, she's a service dog, so yes. I can take her uh, everywhere. That's wonderful. And uh, I need her. <laughs> well, we all need dogs, they fulfill our yes. lives, don't they? really. Yes, really. Well, okay, how many years have you played in the Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf Do you know, I was thinking uh, the other, as a matter of fact, it was yesterday, and I believe that the first time I came was 98, nine? 98 or 99. Okay. 1900. 1900. Well, I feel like 1800. It started in 18, I'm 18. <laughs> <laughs> you got me fouled up, Elke. Okay. Yeah. Um, it started in 1989 <laughs> was the first one. Yes. Yeah. 89. Then I came a, a decade later, okay. I think, because okay. I just started to play golf. I didn't really play that well anymore, which, uh, but I had good groups, so I won the, the, the whole thing three times. You, you won the Sinatra Golf Tournament three times? Three times. Show off. Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> well, that takes not talent. Me. It's, it takes it's talent. Not, but I'm a oh. good motivator, and I putt pretty well, and it's for such a good cause. And, you know, walking in here like today when we... We just arrived. Everybody is so happy to see you and throws kisses all over and comes and hugs you. And it's a, it's like being home. Yeah, it sure it is. Really That's why is. I said it's old home week. Yes. Yeah, it just, it it's really just is. wonderful. All the celebrities that show up to support Barbara really? Sinatra and the, yeah. and the Children's Center. And, really? Yeah, and pay tribute yeah. to Frank, you know. Oh, and, of course. Yeah. Now, did you ever work with Frank? No, okay. I never worked with Frank. Okay. But uh, I met him, of course, and, and knew him, and I think he liked me. Well, and what's not to like? That's I'm right, funny. exactly, yeah. And funny. <laughs> and beautiful. Ugh, beautiful, beautiful. It's such a thing, you know, beautiful is... Beautiful, be beauty comes from here. Beauty comes from that's here. That's right. And that's what you that's see right. in the yes. eyes. Yes. And if the eyes don't say it, then that's right. no teeth, no 64 teeth. When I came, I thought, oh my goodness, all the ladies here. They got hair like this and 64 teeth in their mouth. <laughs> Why did they call me to do the prize with Paul Newman? And then Pandrew Berman, the producer, with one Oscar after the other on his mantelpiece, he said, I said, Why did you uh, uh, call me from Europe to start in the prize? And he said, I said, Look, look at them walk by the thin legs and. I mean the teeth and the hair and everything. He says, when you see the rushes, there's something about you, something very light. And none of those have that. Really? And Interesting. That was a, yeah, that yeah. was an incredible compliment, which, uh, by the oh, way... Oh, no joke. I heard uh, not many times after, but quite a few times after that. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Yeah. Well, you see, you won Miss Via Reggio, as I recall, in Italy. Yeah, but do you know what that <laughs> That's was? That's when you were a teenager. Huh? Yeah, I know. You know what that was? We had a. We were on a bus tour, my mom and I. And every week, 
where we lived in that little pensione in one room, my mom and I, because we didn't have any money, we lived on 75 marks a month, really? which is really nothing. Then my dad had passed away, unfortunately, oh. when I was 15. So we went to, I got invited by this uh, student from medicine, medical student from Pisa to go dancing. My mother, of course, with us at all times. And coming in, they gave me a little number, number 14. And I said, grazie, grazie mille, molto gentile. And I danced with him and there were some people looking and then all of a sudden they said, uh, uh, la signorina Elke, è la Miss Via Reggio Turistica for one week. <laughs> Every week they made it, you know. To, I love it. To, to get the tourists, you know, uh -huh. to, to, uh, to come. And I didn't even know it, so I got some roses and some hosiery, <laughs> some nylon stockings, yes. and some flowers, and that was it. And that was the whole mist thing. I would have never knowingly yeah, entered in a mist thing. Did, I but hated didn't that, it. Didn't that get you started on your acting career? Yeah, because Vittorio De Sica, the great old gentleman of uh, Italian movies, Vittorio saw a picture in the paper where I was holding my stockings, my nylons, and my flowers, and smiled on the camera, which I wasn't used to. And he needed um, somebody to play a, a, a Scandinavian tourist. So he couldn't find me. Because it's little pension, you know, it's a tiny little room right. with two beds. You right. know? And so finally he sent out his guys and they found me. Because I went to the beach and it was, I don't know what it was, it must have been the white stuff around me yes, that the, the, said, the aura is that what they call they, it yes. it was a sunday they followed me into the ocean with their sunday clothes on and i didn't have a really? little tiny bikini one didn't have that at the time the navel had to be covered yes. you know when i'm not that uh, enormous on the top i mean <laughs> i'm normal and they followed me into the ocean fantastic and that somebody saw a German photographer, and that's how De Sica found me and took my mom and me to Rome for three days. And my mom was totally against it, of course. My dad was a Lutheran minister, and he said, Walk this way, walk this way, and uh, say something. And I said, oh, Buongiorno, uh, uh, sono molto contenta di stare a Roma because I learned Latin for mm -hmm. nine years and old Greek for six years in really? school. Yeah, because I was supposed to study medicine. My papa wanted that. And he says, okay, 5,000 marks. Hey, I thought, my God, I was going to the university my first year and I don't have to work on the side to, right. you know. Wait tables, so, right? Yeah, yeah. Or, or do something, yeah, to make it. Mm -hmm. 5,000 marks. And then you offered me the next movie where he was directing and starring. Uh, and I had the second female lead, and from then on I only had leads. Isn't that amazing? How many movies have you done? Uh, 90, I just finished last year my 96th. Really? Really. Unbelievable. Four more to go before And a little I... more than 5,000 marks, right? <laughs> oh, well, a little more yeah. than 5,000 marks. <laughs> but that was really uh, the... Um, I mean, I had no great love for acting. I developed it uh, 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 pretty quickly after about a year or so. Did you take any formal classes or no. just, just learn no. from the, the directors you were working uh, with? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. I follow direction very well. I really do, even on the golf course. I hope tomorrow. <laughs> yes. Yes. You're going to win again this year, huh? No. I. I mean, if if we get if, close, I'm happy. I'm. Yeah. I'm proud. But um, it's, it, you know, it's just being with all the guys and seeing all the fantastic volunteers, mm -hmm. and they wait for me when they see on their sheet, okay, Elke is coming. Yeah. 
Oh, they stand there with the little flower they picked in the yard. It is so sweet. Oh, it's signing a lot of autographs and everything. Yes, yeah, yes, it's yes. Wonderful. On hole number one and nine, yeah. it always gets a little. That's fabulous. Yeah. That's fabulous. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Well, tell me about Smiley here. He's our Smiley mascot today. Smiley is a service today. dog. Yes. Uh, she doesn't wear her little frock now. And because of Smiley, now you wouldn't believe this, I have to go to a psychiatrist twice a year. Really? Yes. Because I need this dog. <laughs> and this is my dog. Do you hear that, Smiley? Is your dog bait? Kissies, kissies. not my bait. Kissies, kissies, kissies. Puppies over there. Cook my dad's puppy. <laughs> so Smiley travels with us, and I think since we got her, and my maid gave her to me because she was born on the 5th of November, I was born on the 5th of November. Oh, really? And my maid was born. She comes once a, once a week. My maid was born on the 5th of November. So she came and I said, not one of those fake Vuittons or something, you know, handbag stuff. I hate right. it. No, 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 senora. No, no, una bolsa. No, no. And she comes with a hand and has in her open palm the smallest green-eyed, like my color eyes, with the pink nose she had at the time. But look at those teeth. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Vicious dog. Vicious. Yeah, right. <laughs> she is too. Somebody approaches me too. Oh, I bet. I bet she's very protective. Very. Oh, very. Extremely. Yeah. Well, LK, okay, congratulations on 96 films. 96. Fantastic. Yeah. 59 and plays. We're going to pull for you to win uh, the, what, what, the four Sinatra this year. He said he went three would, before. Would be the fourth. Yeah, yeah, would be the fourth. Would be yeah. the fourth. Okay, terrific. But if it doesn't happen, I'm okay. just as happy. you would be here to support Barbara Sinatra and the Children's Absolutely. Center. And just Absolutely. this is a fantastic weekend. Absolutely. Yes. Thank, well, thank you, Elkie Summers, thank for joining you. me. And thank you, Smiley, for being on Talk of the Desert. Yeah. <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed the interviews with all these crazy celebrities with the Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf Invitational for 2016. Can't believe it's the 28th year. I want to thank everybody for supporting the Barbara Sinatra Children's Center and all the children that are blessed and taken care of at the Children's Center. And I want to thank all of the people involved with the golf tournament for allowing me to do this. I think this is my fifth year of doing uh, the registration at Frank's Place. So thank you, and we'll join us again for the 20. Ninth annual Frank Sinatra Celebrity Golf Invitation. For more information, email TOTDTV at questoffice.net and visit talkofthedesert.tv on the web. so much better. <laughs> yes, ma'am. That was a good shot.